My name is JP Eau Claire. I'm a professional skier. Uh, and right now we're at uh, Ripon Vineyard in New Zealand, one of my favorite places to visit in Wanaka. Nick Mills, uh, the guy who runs this place, is a old timer, mogul freestyle skier. And uh, he's got two passions in life, two main passions, which are skiing and wine. And it's a beautiful place. It's delicious wine. I love it. And here's a story about being free. Season started, I guess, uh, when I went to Whistler in December with Anthony and Julian and the rest of the crew. And uh, see a lot of powder there. Um, I did film for some of the time, but I actually, like, it's the first time that I took some free time to ski when the conditions were good. And normally I would have just been worried about filming. Uh, it's the first time that I just went off on my own and just skied like tons of laps and just went free skiing by myself. And uh, it was totally amazing. It was really fun, like super refreshing for me to do that. So usually when I have skis on, I'm on a photo shoot or doing some kind of demo or whatever. Through the whole season, uh, I did this Orage Pose and Powder Tour, uh, pretty much all around uh, North America. And it was like a really good uh, opportunity to uh, just shred with kids that are super stoked and stuff. And it was, it's a good experience for the riders too, like ourselves, because like you can use, you can feed off the kids' energy. It's a really refreshing experience for us. In mid-February, we went uh, to Nelson with the Arash team. I did like a 10 day photo shoot there, was it? About 10 days. Once again, it's super lucky with the snow over there. I'm just gonna keep thinking that it's always that good. It's been three years in a row. It's snowing every night, every day. Tons of pal. It's great. It was really cool to have TJ around there too. Uh, I think he was getting a little tired of the whole contest scene at that point and kind of needed a little refresher. We just showed up to Haynes uh, 25th of February and uh, started guide classes, like a three week class about like avalanches and first aid and stuff. Like I think those are really important things that like any pro skier should know. But we're all too busy trying to be rad and get shots in the movies and stuff. Nobody really wants to sacrifice three weeks of the winter. And I understand that, but it's too bad. That yeah, was an amazing experience, probably one of the best trips of my career. It was like really, really cool. After guide class, I actually went over to Europe with Julian, JF, Fabien, and um, hit some step ups over there. It was my whole goal to go hit some step ups. And we did, it was sweet. And then right back to Haynes after, oh no, and then back to another Pose and Powder Tour, and then back to Haynes. So I've been going there for a few years, so like, uh, I already had a good idea of like the zones and stuff, and the people over there, which helped, you know, like uh, working with Sean Dog and Tim, our guide, and um, just knowing how the, the show runs over there, basically. There's a really good vibe over there. I love the town, I love Haynes. Uh, good people, good crew, unbelievable mountain, mountains. What makes me so scared in AK, you know that. You're scared too. Uh, the size of everything, like these, these mountains. You know, it's just something that I'm not used to. I don't think it's my natural environment. There's some Quebec kids barely have any mountains over there. But uh, once you get a taste of it, it doesn't really matter where you're from, I guess. You know, like you saw Julian this year, like, totally felt right at home. It seemed to me anyways, like, <clears throat> really comfortable. Like he's a mountain man, he's from, you know, the Alps. You can tell right away. I think he's a good partner for me to have in the K2. 
one afternoon we were just fishing and I thought I was just going to go out for dinner that night and start packing my bags slowly. And uh, Sean Dog like crawls into the hands and he's like, who wants to go surfing right now? It's like 200 bucks. And I was like, yeah, I'll go surfing for sure, you know. He's like, all you need is like a toothbrush. Let's go. And like we didn't have anything, like we just hopped into a private plane, just like flew in the valleys to uh, Yakutat. Yeah, I mean, we stayed there a few days. Uh, totally, like, uh, totally winging it, like, same clothes, and all we worried about was basically, like, uh, finding some surf and doing some fishing. Sure enough, like, next day, we went to this great called Graveyards, and uh, just, like, awesome left feeling. Like, uh, pretty, pretty good size, too. Like, we had these super thick wetsuits, obviously. And uh, I was like, I hadn't been surfing in so long, I was not in shape at all to paddle hard. And it was a bit of a rip. But just like, you know, just a few waves that I caught were really awesome. It's like the fact that uh, you're right there by the mountains. It's actually uh, the tallest uh, coastal range in the world, right there. And uh, you see these massive peaks in the backdrop while you're surfing. It was really a really cool experience. That whole like year in AK was sick. Guide school, surf trips, stable snow. It was actually the best winter I've had in a long time. A lot of fun, way more fun. That was pretty good. Right? This is torture right now.